I am thrilled to be joined by ABC News political commentator Koki Roberts. Koki, thank you as always for joining us. And Koki, the White House says the president will be proposing a raising of taxes on the rich, top 1% of earners in this nation. How well do you think that will play in front of a Republican-controlled Congress tonight? <laughs> what do you think, Keith? <laughs> Not very well. Not is the answer. <laughs> Uh, but that's not who it's aimed at. It's aimed at the voters. And, um, and I think that uh, him talking about the middle class uh, still suffering, not, not benefiting from the recovery as, as much as uh, certainly the wealthy are, uh, that that will be very popular. And to say that, uh, that the wealthiest people should be uh, helping pay for this, uh, for everybody else uh, in this recovery will also be very popular with the voters, not so much with the Congress. Right. The president has to be buoyed tonight with uh, his new uh, approval rating up to 50 percent for the first time in a very long time, correct? And that's, you know, that's interesting to me because not only is his approval up, and of course a lot of that does have to do with the improving economy, gas prices down and unemployment down, but um, it also, I think, probably to some degree reflects these proposals that he's been talking about over the past couple of weeks, these, the things that he's going to be talking about tonight. Uh, when we ask people what do they think about a community college, free community college, they love it. Uh, what about paid leave? Like, like that, too. Uh, so these are all very popular proposals, and I think they've, con uh, they've contributed to uh, his approval ratings going up. People like those ideas, but I guess the devil in the details paying for it <laughs> And that's going to be something that... Well, the uh, devil's might, in pain for him, right. Exactly right, that he might <laughs> run into problems with, correct? Well, I, and, you know, I don't want to be completely cynical here, but I don't know how much of this is designed for actual passage. Um, I think most of it is designed to take on the campaign trail in 2016. A lot of, a lot of second-guessing of how the Democrats ran their campaigns in 2014, a sense that they blew it uh, by not talking about these issues, and uh, that that's what the American people care about and that that's what they're going to focus on now and talk about endlessly as they go into the next campaign. What do you anticipate are going to be some of the other talking points from Mr. Obama tonight? I would imagine uh, minimum wage in uh, Cuba would be key points. Well, I think foreign policy has got to be a, a big point. Uh, you're seeing you know, terror around the world and uh, what the administration plans to do about that, I think, will be part of the conversation and what they plan to do about the Syrian rebels, all of that. And yes, Cuba. Um, the president has done this opening to Cuba. It will be up to Congress to decide whether to lift the embargo. And I think that making that case will be something that we can expect the president to do. You've talked about the uh, things that the president and the Republican Congress likely can't get together on. Are there any points of common ground that do you think the two sides will be able to move forward on? Well, ironically, the place where the, the president and the Republicans can move forward uh, is on trade, but there's going to be a good deal of Democratic opposition there. Uh, and there might be a few other things uh, where they can come together. This issue of bank fees, which is one of the other ways the president was hoping to pay for uh, some of his proposals, is one that some Republicans have backed in the past. Um, if they really wanted to do tax reform, they could do that together, but that's been a big if they really wanted. Um, so I, I don't see a lot of it, but there are a few things on the edges. They have to do a highway bill. They have to do, um, they have to do a homeland security bill, and uh, I think those things will will happen at, and come to, that you will see those things passing. Koki Roberts, thank you so much for your perspective. We uh, look forward to seeing you tonight here on News 8 and ABC. Thank you.